Students take readings of the volume of a liquid using three different pieces of instrument or measuring equipment. The true value is V. So you can see in the graph here, true value V, true value, true value. Then all the students' results are shown using X, Y, and Z. How many equipments are precise and how many equipments, uh, how many are accurate? And we got a bunch of numbers, uh, precise and accurate. How do we know? You need to know what does precise and accurate mean. Precise, you can consider it like there's less or very small scatter of data. Small spread, small range, small uncertainty. There's two meanings of precision, this is one of it. Accurate means you're very close to the true value. So in other words, you can say that your average value is close to the true value. Right here. <laughs> Okay, so how do we analyze this field? Let's look at X comparing to the rest. X, the peak of X, this is what we call somewhat like a normal distribution curve. So the average of this whole curve is the dotted line, which is nicely at the peak. So yes, this one is quite accurate. Accurate. Is it precise uh, compared to the rest? Not very. You see, the spread is so big. So maybe I will consider this accurate but not precise. Y looks a bit weird, so I'm going to skip that first. Let's look at Z. Z is, the average of it is, oh, it's very symmetrical and nice. So the, the average value would be at V, so it's very accurate. Precise compared to X. Okay la, okay la, quite precise la. I'll give it a yes. Then we go to Y. This one, um, I think this student's value is a bit off. The average is somewhere, okay, maybe a little bit off center. Maybe a little bit like this, because the left side of the peak is a bit higher. So if you take the average, maybe it's a little bit off. Not very precise, it's not at V. So I say not, and uh, no, sorry, not accurate. So not accurate. Precision though, um, compared to X, can consider it to be precise. It's kind of narrow like Z as well. Not too much spread, except for a little bit at the end. A few readings were really, really off. But other than that, I think it's okay precision. So let's total it up and see how much did we think was accurate and precise. So accurate, I think we have two. One, two. Precision, I think we'll have two as well. So these two. So I think based on this uh, graph analysis of their results, I think we would go with D for our case here. And that could be the, that would be the answer. All right. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one.